Good morning, boys and girls. And today you'll be learning how to tell time with Mr. Bisa. What if you woke up one morning and could not tell the time? You would be late for school. You would ask yourself what time it is. And you would also ask yourself, will you be late for school that morning? You would ask yourself also, is it time for lunch yet? Or what time it is? And you probably wouldn't know when to eat lunch. Then finally, you would ask yourself, is it time to leave yet? Or what time it is? Because you want to leave school and you wouldn't know what time it is to leave school. So telling time is very important in order for us to do things that are happening within the day. Now before we need a, we could read time, we need to take a look at two different kinds of clocks. This first one is called a analog clock. This next one is called a digital clock. Here we have both a analog clock and a digital clock. But first, you're going to learn about how to read a analog clock. So taking a look at the analog clock, the analog clock has two parts, or many parts, but two main parts. The first part is called the hour hand. The hour hand is usually shorter than the minute hand. So the hour hand is usually the shorter hand. That is the first part of a clock that you should read. The next part is called the minute hand. The minute hand is longer than the hour hand. Here is another clock and it indicates the hour hand and the minute hand. So the hour hand usually moves first and then the minute hand also moves as well. So as you see here, the hour hand is shorter than the minute hand. Now, the hour hand usually counts by once. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and back to twelve. Now the minute hand counts in a different way. The minute hand counts by fives. So if the minute hand moves to the first number, it's five. And each number is actually indicated right under. So here we have five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then 59, and back to 60. And at 60, we start back again at zero. So now that we know about the hour hand and the minute hand, we'll go ahead and practice a few so that we could fully understand how to read an analog clock. So the first part is that when we read a analog clock, we always start with the hour hand. So here we have our minute hand moving just to show you where the hour hand is. So far the hour hand is pointing to... Let's try to go ahead and read this time. So this time is the hour hand is pointing to 3. So that would be 3. Then, after the hour, it's called a colon. The colon helps separate the hour and the minutes. So we have three, 
And then if we count by fives from 12, is 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and then 35, where 7 is. So it should be 3, 35 as our first answer. We'll go ahead and do one more just for practice. So we'll go ahead and <clears throat> adjust this clock randomly and all right. So here we have the hour hand in between the <clears throat> in between the ten and eleven. Now the basic rule of understanding is that if it's not directly pointed at 11 then it we would go ahead and say that it is still 10 now if this was exactly at 11 then we know it would be 11 but if it's in between 10 and 11 then it would be 10 so we'll go ahead and try to answer this first one so we know that the first number should be what first number should be 10 then we use what is called a colon to separate the hours and the minutes and then if we take a look at the minute hand we would still count by fives from 12 so 0 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 and then 55 so the answer to this clock, or the, to read this clock, would be 10.55. Alright, so we'll go ahead and practice some problems on the board. And thank you for watching. Until next time.